and welcome to the session in this session we are, in, we are going to learn about understanding line breaks in our strings so you can see on my screen there is a program of three lines which includes a string in them hello welcome to c++ tutorial second line and the third line if i hit execute run, compile and run you will see that the output will appear in three different lines so this is the line break hello and welcome to c++ tutorials come in the one line okay the line goes down because of this and else statement if i don't write and else the second line will come in the continuation of this first line so um, let me let me explain you in more detail uh, way that if you remove this and l and you remove this slash n your lines will appear on same line your output will appear on single line so let this program execute you can see that even though our program is written on three different lines hello welcome to c++ tutorial and on the second line we have written second c out a different c out statement but this will not impact on our output so to give a line break in your strings you need you have two ways either you write and l command and like this way okay now the second line has gone on to the next line and third line con continues with the second line because there is no and l over here there is another way to give the line break that you can use slash n over here like slash n this will also break the line over here and will start a new line now the output will be hello and a line break will appear over here and on the next line welcome to c++ tutorials will be printed then again a line break will appear and on the third line second line of program will appear and this line will continue with the second line let's check this now you see as I expected the output is same hello okay and this slash n has given a line break over here welcome to c++ tutorials it's printed as expected and a line break due to and l appeared over here and the second line went down but third line before the third line there is no slash n or and l this continues with the second line so now you have understood that even though you write new c out it will not give a line break you need to either use slash n or the and l in your strings to give a line break in your display output okay otherwise uh, writing a new c out will not make any impact on your output fourth line okay so now you see this second line third line fourth line will be coming on printing on the same lines to give the output you only have two methods i'm repeating once again before ending this tutorial that and l and slash and you have these two methods to bring line breaks in your strings thank you if you have any question you can uh, ask in comments thank you for this being with me in this session